time and it's time now to have a look at our health talk segment today we'll take a look at something very interesting it's an alternative treatment homeopathic remedies for more details let's take a look now good morning and welcome to our health talk segment today on newsline today we're here with our very own health authority dr arwan kichawain gun at her very own institute dr arwan holistic institute at major avenue ratiotin สวัสดีค่ะ. So what topic are we going to talk about today? How about homeopathy? So many people would, might not be familiar with homeopathy. What is it exactly? Homeopathy is a science that uh, medical approved and very famous in Europe for more than 250 years. The father is a German doctor, Dr. Heinemann, who discovered that uh, we can cure disease by using the, the same homeo means same. So it's like light cures light. So like you have a common cold, you have a rhinitis, yes. you have red eyes like you, you have been using onion. So they use the homeo that made from on, onion by oh. using water to recognize the energy of the onion and use that water to bring up your own energy. Then you will uh, kill your cough, your common cold symptom that look like you have been uh, have the adverse effect of the onion, like red eyes, have rhinitis, it will stop. And for homeopathy, it's very good because now they, they have more than 30,000 remedy that can help us uh, eradicate all the many kinds of disease like allergy, even migraine and even nowadays cancer, some kind of cancer can be killed with homeopathy too. So it's a very useful, is it a new treatment? or? It's it not been... new, it has been 250 years already. Oh, but in Thailand, our medical, uh, our Minister of Public Health just approved to use in Thailand for three years. I mm -hmm. see. And what kind of patients should consider homeopathic treatments? I think especially all patients that, that don't want to use the chemical and want to be really cured by themselves, by their own energy. Like you have chronic disease like allergy yes. or even some uh, migraine, some psoriasis, any kind of problem, even uh, acute diarrhea. Homeopathy has been very famous in the old time when they have cholera. Ch cholera is the diarrhea, epidemic diarrhea from cholera and after they using the homeopathy they can help 50% of cases that have been infected by cholera and from that time make homeopathy worldwide famous and now they because um, doctors in Thailand that have been learned homeopathy is now have about 20 doctors that graduate from the Minister of Public Health so this can be used uh, widely in many many provinces now with the homeopathy. But there's only 20 doctors, would it be enough for so many people in Thailand? It's just the first step, only these three years I think it will be more and more popular because uh, we have seen many foreigners, the overseas clients, they already know the homeopathy very well and they look for the homeopathy too. But for Thai people, we need to educate more and and this is another alternative, alternative way to help our, our population to be cured and save the money for, for the budget, for the, for, the, for the pharmaceutical products. It's so good from what you explained to me. Is there any disadvantages about this practice at all? Oh yes, everything has pros and cons. Yes. They have the good things, but if you use the, not the right remedy, may cause another symptom. So not, not, not good to you too. So you need to meet the expert and know how to use it. And ho for homeopathy, at first when you use to, the first thing that you will feel that it's better is your mind. You feel the more peaceful and then the disease gradually subsided so and gone. So it cures from inside? Yeah, it's like energy. So it's the energy treatment because we use water to recognize the energy yes. of each substance. Homeopathy, uh, we made from five things, maybe from plants, from animal, from uh, t normal tissue, or from the, the infected tissue, or cancer tissue, or, and also from the energy, like from x-ray, from the electricity, something like this. Like 
we use water to recognize the energy and then use that water to bring up our own energy to, to conquer, to win the situation of the disease that we have. It can be treated both the mental and physical. So the basic treatment is water? Is that it's water. water. Oh, you know about Dr. Uh, Professor Aimoto who got the Nobel Prize for uh, water, oh, that water have memory. Water has yeah, memory. You, a glass of water when yes. you uh, say about good things to the water and then you look into the microscope at the molecule of the water, you see it's a very beautiful crystal. Really? And then the same glass, you score, you think badly to the water and then you look into the microscope again, that, that water, it's changed. The molecule structure changed to very ugly. And even seven, seven days pass, you look into the water, it will be the same as the last time what you talk to the water. So it doesn't change, mm -hmm. it memorizes yeah, everything. That's wow. why it's a proof that water has memory. So the same in homeopathy, they use water to memorize the frequency, the energy of each substances, and then use that water to bring up our energy. Then with the good energy that have the similar symptom of the disease that we have, yes. so we can be cured. I see. Very effective way. I'm curious, aren't homeopathic and herbal medications are the same? It's uh, the same in the some part like I tell you before that homeopathy we get the remedy from the plants, from yes. the animal. So the plants is a herb. So it's, it's come from herb too, but sometimes it's come from the tissue and also the cancer or the infected tissue too. I see. And what if our viewers are interested in seeking homeopathic treatment? Who should they go to? So they should seek the physician that have the knowledge of homeopathy and also they have the remedy too. Or you can uh, go to our uh, five branches that have doctor to, to to serve you for the homeopathy. They are in Bangkok for two branches, in Phuket and also in Samui. Where exactly in Bangkok so our viewers can go and see you? Uh, in Bangkok we have here at the Rajyo, Major Rajyo Tin and also yes. at the Tong Law branch, Tong Law 12, and also at Bangkok Phuket Hospital in Phuket and also at Royal Phuket Marina in Phuket too, and at Chueng Plaza at, in Chueng Samui, Suratani. Got so many, so if anyone's interested, they can just go to your institute, am I correct? You're okay. welcome. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's all the time I have for today's segment. I hope to you will join us next time as well. Thank you very much. And I'll have to wrap up for today's health talk segment. I'll see you next time. And for more information on health talks, please tune in every Thursday on Newsline. I'll send you back to the studio.